what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more walking dead today we're going to be checking out season seven episode six maybe seven <laughs> i don't know yet if i'm going to do two episodes or just one but we'll see if i'm if i enjoy episode six then i'll do another but for now let's just see what's going on we know the trouble that is troubling our people right now and I, f I just feel sorry for them because everybody is so down but i'm worried about carl and jesus because they stowed away to go see where negan's home base is and i'm worried about them thank god i didn't find out about maggie being alive because they probably would have killed everybody at the hilltop so but gregory is a bitch we all know this let's not play anyways going forward as i've said before um, after season seven, I will be taking a break two weeks or more from the walking dead. So do not expect walking dead to be up, um, in, in that time period, I'm going to be taking a break. I'll let you guys know when I'll be back or you'll just see the upload. Just watch it for the premiere of season eight. So I will be taking a break from it. Um, and then we'll go back into it whenever because i need to go take care of some stuff in my personal life and real life and stuff like that i have to take care of um to get back things you know as things trickle and get back to normal a bit so um hopefully i see you guys then okay so i'm trying to get through this season with 10 episodes left after this one um i'm hoping that we get there with these 16 episodes um hopefully i can i want to get there by the end of next week if possible if not i'll let you guys know what's going on um but you know things are kind of ramping up again for me so i might have to go back to the um and let you guys know about a, a schedule that i'll be on but for the most part there's nothing to worry about now anyways let's go watch this episode and i'll see you guys for the review all right okay um i just finished watching episode what was it seven right episode seven i was going to do another episode but i decided not to i know i said it at the end of the video so don't come at me okay i decided not to do another one because i had something to do i had something to do so i had to not do that okay so sorry about that guys but I know you probably was yo yo, but you realize that this is the last video <laughs> in the damn in the damn um reaction folder. So stop it, okay? Stop raging, okay? Stop raging. Don't come at me. Don't at me, okay? Anyways, let's talk about these two episodes. As I was saying at the end there, um, where I was saying that a lot of people said that they didn't, they not, they didn't enjoy, um, season seven, season eight. Some people even dropped the show. My opinion so far on this on this season, very good. A solid eight out of ten right now. I mean, Negan's acting is the the guy. I don't remember his name. Um, he's doing a very good job. You know what I'm saying? I can get over the mannerisms. I know I complained about the mannerisms. It's just that there was in episodes one and two. There's these mannerisms that he have that I described before. It wasn't displayed in these episodes that we've seen him further along in the season like he's not leaning back as much as him anymore when he talks he's like just a regular dude now so it's like he still has that charisma which you know what i'm saying like i like the fact that he's a villain and he plays this character where it's like you're not sure where he really stands now he's holding judith acting all fatherly it's just it's creepy and weird but at the same time you know what I'm saying? Like, they're trying to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? He has other agenda. He has plans, which is that makes him even more scary because, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see how he handles his business back at home base. Now, you know, Rick is going to be upset when he, if he decides to leave, Negan leaves. He's going to be very upset with Carl. Because Carl is what caused all of this. Him to come back there before time and all of this other stuff. So he's just here waiting for them to come back. Now, Michonne is, is on a one-man mission. 
Meanwhile, it looks like Jesus is trying to get Daryl out. Um, so all of this stuff is going on. And I'm, I'm not agreeing with none of it. None of it. None of it that's going on. All of our characters are like spursed out again. You get what I'm saying? And not being together and understanding what is going on or not making any plans together. Everybody's just on this one man mission to kind of kill Negan or take out Negan. Now, now Negan is back at Alexandria. Meanwhile, Michonne is on her way. That I don't I don't I don't think the lady that she captured or kidnapped or whatever knows that Negan is left. Now you're going into the belly of the beast with with your gun to one soldier. What does that even mean? Well, you know, nobody's thinking right now and it's frustrating the hell out of me because I'm like, I feel like somebody else is going to get themselves killed and it's, you, it's going to be somebody to blame. Like, oh, I'll take it. Out. I was like, you're not supposed to have a gun. Now Negan is back there. Suppose they do a search of you guys coming back into the compound. Now, suppose they do a search of you guys. She, she, they're going to find that gun on Rosita. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to cause another issue. It's just it's just so many things right now that I love about the show but hate it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes these episodes so good because there's this this ominous feeling around that you don't know. You feel like somebody's going to get killed and then nobody gets killed. It's like a sigh of relief. And it, that is not easy to portray in TV shows. And that's, that's one of the things that people don't they don't really look at. They don't really understand why writers do stuff like that they do that because it's not always about just action you're not watching a movie they have to if they say okay this season we're gonna do 16 episodes they gotta stretch the story and know what they're gonna cover for those 16 episodes and that's what they're going to do they're not gonna do anything more they're not gonna do anything less okay once they have that figured out that's what they're going to do and I'm loving what they're doing with season seven so far. I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too with my reactions. I am um, I'm loving the season. It's a solid eight out of ten. Seven episodes in. We still got what? Um nine more episodes to go. So I will be checking that out. I'm sorry guys. I wanted to do another episode, but um my um you know I went up to get something to eat and yeah. Stuff happened, <laughs> you know, so I can't do another episode. So I just came back to do the review then I'm out. I have to go do some mentorship with some with someone right now um, that I completely forgot about. It's like six o'clock in the evening and we were supposed to start at six. It's now six fifteen. So I have to go. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I know you guys are going to support these videos. The views did go back down to regular after, you know, um, the upload with season seven episode one but that's cool i know some people just came over just to see because it was a you know everybody wants to see how people react to that particular moment of you know negan doing what he does you know what i'm saying that scene is iconic and i get it i know the, the views were going to spike way more than normal and that's fine i understand so thank you guys so much for sticking with me sticking with the series um leave a like leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you thought of these two episodes i appreciate y'all as always gratitude is never enough subscribe if you're new your boy is out of here